All right, now I think I'm live. A little confusing. Let's see. All right, let me just uh, lock this in place for a second. I want to introduce you to what's going on. So we're at... Uh, we're in uh, Butte, Montana, and I've already booked the load. I'm at the shipper, which is uh, Tidbit Goods and Foods. I brought along a trailer that I purchased. It is a uh, pretty heavy-duty trailer. It's got three regular axles, and then it's got a steerable axle in the back with only a single tire as opposed to the other axles that have dualies. And it's a 53 foot trailer, so it's pretty long, just like a standard trailer. We're gonna back into that spot over there and get loaded with waste paper. And then we're going to take it to, I believe we're taking it to Bozeman. So, let's, let's do it. Oh. Um, I forgot to mention that I have only two, two event, two things left, two deliveries left to complete the cruising Montana event. So that's my goal today to deliver to two towns that I have not delivered to yet. I am not sure if Bozeman is one of them or not in this profile. I have not been to Bozeman. However, I may have delivered there in another profile, but one that I have not, let's see, Havre, I think, Glasgow, and Laurel. I believe those are cities that I have not delivered to. Now, why did it do that? I didn't do anything. Jeez. Anyway, we're picking up waste paper taking it to somewhere in Bozeman. Oh, I don't know why it's loading a new screen. It was just in the truck. By the way, let me know. <clears throat> let me know if you can hear me okay. I did a bunch of tweaking to OBS. So I set up a whole new configuration in OBS. And uh, I did a lot of testing for, with it, but I want to know from you in the live stream, can you hear everything okay? The other thing that I did with the tweaking was, thank you, Trucker King. The other thing with the tweaking that I did was to increase my streaming output, the rate that I'm outputting from, I don't know what it was, 1500 or something uh, bits per second. I upped that to 6,000 bits per second, uh, kilobits per second rather. So it's six megabits per second output. So everything should look a little crispier than, than it has in the past. You let me know, though. All right, we're going to back in next to that dry van trailer. Evening, Carlos. Welcome to the stream. Well, I'm glad you think so, Trucker King. I've had some complaints. And even when I've watched the replays or the recording videos, it's been a little bit blurry or not as crispy as it should be anyway. 
I've overcompensated again. Meaning I overturned. There we go. What was that? Trucker King. Let me bring this up so I can see it better. All right. Unfortunately, I can't see my, my screen very well. I've got my chat sitting right over the top of it. I will make do, but thank you for the coffee. I really do appreciate the coffees. All right, we'll do one pull up. Anyway, trying to make sure that the stream looks good for you guys. I've been wanting to make those tweaks for weeks now. Hey, David. Well, you know, David was one of the people that complained a little bit about, or not complained, but pointed out that my stuff was a little bit fuzzy. Grainy, I think is a better word, like you say, Trekker King. Um, and that's nice to hear that you think that mine looks better than other folks uh, that always seem grainy. I always thought mine was a little bit grainier, but, you know, I'm a little anal. So I thought it was... Always thought it was a little bit grainy. And so did David from Klamath Falls. Welcome, David, to the stream. Okay, we've got our paper. And we're going to Bozeman to the uh, waste management place. Okay. I'm a, I'm a little anal. That means picky. Hey, Matthew. How's the weather up there in Michigan? Can't be snowing yet. Is that it? Where are you from, Lorati? 84? Because that might be an American term. Quebec. Aha. Well, that's almost American. That's like little American, right? How heavy is this? 38,772. I guess I could use. Be sure to use a. Uh, start out in first gear, I guess. French version on America, yeah. Well, that's good. I hope it's not too humid there. I know come winter it's going to be pretty nasty. I 
one thing I forgot to do before I started out, uh, I forgot to get a, some reset the time and and take a 10 hour break. So I'm gonna have to take a 10 hour break after I make this delivery. I got enough time on the clock to do this. Well, that's good to hear, Matthew. Depending on where you are in Michigan, I know it can be pretty humid. Having spent a lot of years living in uh, Minnesota in the summertime, I know it can be quite humid. Let's enjoy some of this Montana scenery. Man, I wish it was only 82 here. King say it isn't so. Man, it always seems to be something, doesn't it? And for those of you who don't know, Trucker King's talking about how he was planning to get a computer in September. He's been saving up. And we, we talked him out of getting a cheap Walmart computer. Because we want to see him get a really good one. Always something. David, are you talking about me or for someone else's computer? Because I got a rock solid uh, gaming box. And by the way, if you're interested in uh, knowing what I'm running, down in the description is all the specs for my PC. Uh, Jesse, welcome to the stream. We just rolled east out of Butte. We are on our way to Bozeman. We are on Interstate 90, east of Boz or east of Butte, west of Bozeman. So we went up that hill to a mountain pass, and then came down the other side. Yeah, I can't hardly do that. Plus, we're exiting. Stay right, and then exit right. Exit right.
Hey, JJ man, welcome to the stream. Oh man, Trucker King, that sucks. Well, you want to make sure you got a good safe car to have on the road though. David, that is really easy to do, that's for sure. Yeah, well, actually my computer is three years old, three and a half years old at this point. But it's still pretty darn good. It, I mean, it rocks American Truck Simulator easily. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome everyone. We are delivering this load of scrap paper from Butte to this place, uh, Waste Management in Bozeman. And for those of you who came late to the stream, I'm rocking my own trailer in this one. Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna scratch it up. Got that steerable tire. I gotta get used to that. Turn on my four ways, my flashers. Oh, yeah, that's man, that terrible tire thing is interesting. I guess we'll call this good. Oh.
<clears throat> excuse me. A little bug in my throat. I need some coffee to drown it. Oh, let's see. Where's the nearest truck stop? Uh, ooh, over here? Really? Wow. Well, I guess it's not that far, but all those traffic lights are going to be a pain. All right, let me let me get caught up on a couple of these questions here. Um, let's see, David Trucker King drives long haul these days, but has time for videos. You know, I used to watch videos all the time when I was long haul. At the end of the day, I'd set up my laptop and uh, get it, hop on YouTube, and I'd watch trucking videos. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Uh, Lorati, I, I am considering streaming on Twitch at some point. Let's see. We'll keep us posted, Trucker King. So, JJ, I have Boomer. I have a question about the dev console, but not sure if here or Discord. Discord. Uh, hit me up in the Discord. Just remind me. Shoot me a DM. I'll send you back the link to the video where I, that I learned it from. Let's see. Yeah, stay away from them Walmart computers. Yeah, bad news. Uh, Adam, the steering axles are optional uh, on trailers. I was actually surprised to see that it was even an option for this trailer when I bought it. I mean, it's got three regular axles. And then, actually, this front one is a drop axle. But this is a steer axle, and this is the first time I've had a steer axle on a U.S. trailer. Um, let's see. Uh, Roddy, <laughs> don't feel bad. It takes a while to get used to this. Man, I tell you what, the first time I tried backing a trailer into a dock in real life, yeah, half an hour, at least. <laughs> yep. Trucker King, have I ever used a trailer with steers? Are you asking me that, have you? Or are you asking me, have I? Um, this is the first time ever. I mean, except in Euro Truck Simulator. I have, in, but not in real life. Oh, that's what you asked. Um, and Trucker King, when you do buy that computer and if you buy it from Amazon, be sure to use one of my links. Even if you don't buy what you click on the link for, you can at least start there and, um, I get a little credit for that. Okay. Hey, XLT. Uh, hey, I saw you posted something and deleted it last night before I had a chance to respond. Um, you probably saw that I was streaming. What I was doing, and I mentioned it to everybody who was here at the beginning, I was testing stuff. I had I had con uh, reconfigured my OBS, and I was doing some test streaming, and they were private. So they were just going into my YouTube channel. That way I could go and look at them. So that's – if I understood what you wrote, that's what I was doing. Uh, hey, Chubby Wolf. What do I think about that 60-foot trailer? I think we're going to see a few of them – running over corners and hitting light poles and and winding and I think it was Trucker King or Pilot that said this winding up on uh, bonehead truckers because they're you know seven feet longer and you know nothing wrong with that we have long trailers in the Pacific Northwest already but you know they're great on the freeway but Turning corners in town, not so great. Hey, Close. Haven't seen you in a while. Have I seen any trailer steering axles in real life? I don't think so. Ah, <laughs> autocorrect. I held try and quad axle tankers in real life. 
we had to lift the steer axles before backing or we would rip off the steer axle. Wow. See? Never would have known that had I not received the training. Let's see, did I swing wide enough? To get around this uh, barrier? Yes, I did. I don't know if I could have done that if it was a 60 foot trailer. I guess if the, if the, if the axles weren't too far back. You know, I noticed in the picture, or the thumbnail for the video on that 60-foot trailer thing, those had, uh, looks like tri-axles in the back. There's a lot of trailers in the Pacific Northwest that have, uh, four and five trailer, uh, axles on the trailer. Like, two of them are lift axles. In fact, they have those a lot in Las here in Las Vegas, too. Turn right. Like, five and six axles. Oh, right. Not left. That way. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. I'm waiting for this light. <laughs> Let's see. Nope, I did not increase my count, so that was not one of the cities. Oh, close. Man. You're a little young to be throwing your back out like that, but I did the same thing. I was a little bit older than you. I think I was about 22. Lifted something heavy without stooping. Next thing I knew, I could not get up. I couldn't stand up straight. Not fun. Not fun at all. Go straight. Eight to ten thousand gallons of water, yeah. Multiply that times eight pounds. That's pretty heavy. Hi Lee. Did you say something you didn't mean to? Yeah, much. I just did that. And welcome to the stream, by the way. So, I met all the criteria for the event. Picked up a load in Butte, drove 130 miles, Stay delivered in Bozeman. Right. 
and it's a world it's a world of trucks load but I believe I've already delivered him in Bozeman before. So after we get uh, get in a 10 hour break, I'll sort out what's next. Yeah, David, I'm not too big on permits, but you know what I would like is to have a reason to use the scales at a truck stop and then be able to adjust the sliding tandems if necessary. Go straight. That would be interesting. <laughs> uh, it looks like Lee Arnett is just as anal as I am. I can't stand to spell something wrong. Or use incorrect punctuation. I hope we don't get red bed on our way to the uh, truck stop. Adam, I've been to Bucky's. Um, they're not designed for 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 trucks, really. I've been by Bucky's. I don't know if I've been in. Trying to think. Yeah, no, they've got a few actually where you can get in with a truck or at least park out on the street. Yeah, those are in Texas. They're huge. Yeah. <laughs> Lee, what are you playing ATS with? Why don't you tell everybody? Oh look, ATS Bank. Yeah. Well, I'm glad to hear you got a steering wheel. You get a shifter next? <laughs> oh, much. See, that that can drive people with uh, punctuation OCD insane. You have arrived at your destination. Hanging out on the internet, especially Twitter. <laughs> I don't think there's anything, I don't think punctuation even exists on Twitter. I'm gonna go around to the other entrance. Oh, I don't even need fuel. Whoa. That's a good reason to not have those X's.
Oh, just got my first yawn. Yeah, my I have to admit, I've gotten lazy. I I use shortcut slang. It's almost 8 p.m., so we should be over with our break at almost 6 a.m. So let me pause this and get caught up on a couple of things. <laughs> oh, yes, I do have Twitter. I have a Twitter account. Links in the description below. Also, my Facebook. And Instagram, I'm not, I'm not active on Instagram, and I haven't been on Facebook much in the last couple of weeks, but I do have a Facebook page over there, and I do post periodically. Oh yes, English versus American English. <laughs> wow, David, I wouldn't have uh, even thought about that. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> Lee, you're asking me, how do you get track IR? You go to the track IR website and buy it. You, I know some people have bought it on Amazon. I'm trying to think if I have a link to it in my description, not for Amazon, but, uh, let me take a peek. Tra oh yeah, track IR head tracking. There's a link to the track IR website. Was that your question? I'm going to get back to driving in just a minute. Uh, uh, okay, let's get back to driving. But let's look for a load. Now, I need to be able to go to Laurel, Glasgow, or Havre. So, Bozeman, Bozeman. Bozeman View just came from there. Missoula. I'm pretty sure I've already done a load to Missoula. Lewistown. I've been, well, I've been through Lewistown. No, I did a load to Lewistown. That's right. Sydney. I think I've done one to Sydney. Hmm. Let's see what's available on the cargo market out of Bozeman. Maybe I can get to somewhere else. Oh, you know what? Let me go back to this. And if I took a load to Lewistown, there's no outbound loads. Wait, what? Weird. Interesting. I guess I can't, I can't find any loads there anywhere that I'm not actually at. So, Bozeman. Back to Butte. Not going to do that. Oh, that's way past Butte. Billings. Um, Sula. Well, this isn't looking good. Oh, 
do I know how much? Well, I think I paid less than $200 US. And that was that was the premium one that came with this unit here that snaps onto my headset. Um, this actually costs extra. I got the whole kit though. Oh wow. Um, the basic kit comes with the reflector thing that fits on a, a hat. Which is fine, but you gotta wear a hat. I don't like to wear a hat all the time. The downside to this is that I'm, I got a cord. So, six of one, half dozen the other. So let's figure out where we're going. I don't want to go that far. My goodness. Cheyenne. That's pretty far. Oh, these are some long runs. Rollins, Logan, Gillette. That wouldn't be too bad. 442 miles. Jackson. Eee. But that would be a scenic route, wouldn't it? Holy moly. 434 miles to Jackson. That's going to be scenic. I do want to do that, but that doesn't fit with what I'm trying to do at the moment. I guess I could just go to Gillette, but it's so far. All right, I'll go to Lewistown, even though I believe I've been there already. Let's see, this one's got, I got plenty of time. Really, Trucker King, how do you do that? Because I was looking for a way to do that and I couldn't figure it out. Um... Well, you'd be right, Mudge, if, if, if it wasn't for the fact that I actually have several profiles. I have been to Sydney in another profile. So that's not one of the loads that would work. Huh. Uh, Lee, I, you know, I asked to whether I support the autism community. I don't know more or less than anything else. Um, oh yeah, go to your logbook. Duh. Oops, I need to do something. Bear with me a moment while I check that out. Okay, here's where I have been. Where to go? Wow, it's been eight days already. Kalispell, Miles City, Billings, Great Falls, Butte, Helena, Thompson Falls, Missoula, Glendive, Sydney. So, Lewistown would work. Okay. We'll do that. Thanks, pilot bro. That was the solution. And I actually knew that and forgot because I'm senile. <laughs> oh, I dropped down the event. Okay. 
Um, hey, Lee. Um, is he, he, yeah, you're right. Here's the deal. Um, I do want to stay on topic and track IR is on topic. All right, where are we going to get this? Right around the corner. Hey, nice. And another thing too, um, just keep in mind, I have I have a pretty big audience here and everybody's here to watch trucking. And Trek IR is the thing about trucking for people who want to get better at it, so that's for sure. Other people may be thinking about asking that question as well. So I hope that answers your question. Stay left, then turn left. Turn left. Also, I can't always get to the questions. I can't actually carry on a conversation. I try to, though, because I like to chat with folks. I've actually had people tell me, you don't have to answer every question. And, uh, and while that's true, I like to. Because I do like to interact with the audience, but I don't want uh, to be monopolizing with just one person Turn left. at the exclusion of others. So I'm trying to get better at that. There we go. Hey, thanks. So we just need to go in here and find the uh, loading spot and we can get loaded. I think I know where it is. Nope, it's not where I thought it was. But that's okay. It's right there. Set a little bit. Thank <laughs> you. 
we're going up to Lewistown. I'll show you the map when I, after I get loaded. I mean, it was on the screen a little bit ago with the, um, when I booked it, but I'll show you on the other map where, so it'll actually look better. And Lee, how do you know unicorns are positive things? Have you ever met a unicorn? You know, they got that thing on their head. They might try to skewer you. I don't know. I'm just saying. All right, let's get loaded. So, um, to do, to do, to do. Tucker King just posted a link to a much cheaper PC in the Discord for feedback. Oh. Well, just FYI, thank you for clicking on my link, by the way. But you, you have to make the purchase within 24 hours uh, for it to count. Um, but you can, when you're ready, you can always go when you're ready to buy, you can always go back, click on one of my links and then go do it. But that works. Uh, let's see. Chubby Wolf. You got a laptop from Walmart and it's been running ATS. All right. I'm not surprised. American truck simulator and Euro truck simulator are, you know, depending on how, how your graphics, uh, options are set up, will run those games just fine. So, but it, if you're going to do other things that are graphic intensive, like flight simming, you're going to need a better computer than that. And you could get by with, with that um, laptop. It, you just might not have the best graphics. That's okay. Lee, no, I'm not upset at you. Um, uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to tell you that it's not. I'm being sarcastic. Missed a major thing. No operating system. Hey. Yeah, see, Carlo gets it. Carlos gets it. He's totally opposed to being poked with a unicorn horn. Me too. <laughs> All right. Let's look at the map. Let's talk about trucking. Here we are in Bozeman. We're going out to Lewistown. We're going to stay on 90 for a little bit, then we're going to take U.S. Highway 89 up to U.S. Highway 87 to Lewistown. And we'll make our delivery there. 257 uh, miles, 5 hours, 10 minutes optimal time. Yes, unicorns are a mythical animal. That's why I was being sarcastic. Um, yes, Adam, I have been on US 2, uh, uh, US Highway 2 in the game and in real life, partly in real life. Um, and yeah, it's very scenic, just beautiful. Odd highways, yeah. Let's go. No more talk of unicorns. Let's deliver freight. And look at awesome scenery. Whoops. How heavy is this? 23,520. Wow, oh, I didn't see how close I was to that other trailer. Bye. Thanks for the hay. Is that what we got? Hey. Yes, we got hay. Hey. We got hay. Hey. 
Hey, y'all. Okay, Lee. Hope you're, hope you're gonna stay and watch the video. <laughs> Pilot bro, I'm with you. Drove the 57X with mods and still don't like it. Yeah. I, I heard there's already some mods out. Not the Creech Bomb, but I had heard uh, you know, somebody posted something about there's a uh, engine mod out for the 57X already. Front row. Well, Leah, I hope you'll watch this stream. There's nobody else in this uh, streaming with me right now. Just, just me. Tomorrow, however, I'll be uh, streaming with Bucks. And I think we're going to be in Montana again. Saturday, I'll be doing a solo live stream in uh, Euro Truck Simulator. And then Sunday earlier, early Sunday, we're multi-live streaming in ATS. <laughs> well, JJ, man, there's just a few of us anal trucker guys that make it a point to turn on our flashers when we're maneuvering in a, in a truck stop or at a shipper or receiver. I forget sometimes. I was uh, doing a delivery or something, and uh, Sim Ninja was ahead of me, and he had his on, which reminded me that I didn't have mine on. So yeah, he's also a, tr a former trucker. But we are, we are simulating realism to the extent that we can. That's part of the allure for some of us. It is for me as a former trucker. And I found that to be the case for other former truckers in ATS as well. Or current truckers. Yes, hay is for horses, Adam. Straws cheaper and grass is free. Is this the way I want to go? Yeah, I think so. Looks like we got lights no matter what. I didn't know that. Huh. Well, that's unfortunate. One more reason not to fiddle with the Western Star 57X.
no strings. French name, welcome to the live stream. What did you say? Oh, you, oh you're talking to Pilot Bro, okay. Bro, you got a point. Hey, G. Johnson, welcome to the live stream. Um, yeah, I haven't played as much as I would like, and I still have a lot more to discover. Do not think you know him, Jeff Fabiano. I know who he is. I've watched a number of his videos. Not lately, though. Just haven't had time. But I've enjoyed him. I mean, a few months ago, I was watching quite a bit of them. I learned a lot. Uh, he does play TS and ETS, too. Yep. Yep. I think he streams on Twitch too, doesn't he? That I'm not sure about. As a matter of fact, uh, it was on one of Jeff Fabiano's videos where I, I saw convoying for the first time. I had no idea it was a thing at that point, or up to that point. Ooh. Let's get outside. I don't want to miss out on this scenery. Hey, Diane. Welcome to the stream. Stone River.
Historic point. That's great, G. Johnson. I tell you what, steering wheel made all the difference in the world. Steering wheel and pedals. And the shifter. Man, I am surprised at how much the shifter changed my gaming world. And the head tracker. I don't ever want to go back. Meaning I don't ever want to go back to not having one. I was going to take out that sign for a second. <laughs>
Wow, ski area up here. Well, that was disconcerting. How about these trees, huh? Jason, I run two monitors. And welcome to the live stream. All right, got a bypass. Town, sixty six miles. Go straight. Oh, I have really got behind on that. Hang on a second.
Trucker Games, what are you talking about? Why don't you DM me? I don't know what's going on. Well, why don't I pull up up here? It says exit, but I'm gonna go in anyway. I may run over something here. Hopefully not, but... Part for a second, I need to see what's going on over here in the chat. Ah, oh, let's see. Let me get back up here a little bit. Ah, oh, da, da, da. gee, John Jr., you took out a parked car at Walmart today. Well, that happens. Chubby Wolf, I have been through the national park in the game, and it is awesome. And yes, I do run two monitors. Hey, Lee. Trucker Games, what are you talking about? I don't understand. Who's disrespecting him? I, don't, uh, I may have gone through Lewis and Clark National Forest, but I went through the um, the Glacier National Park. Uh, Trucker Games, I don't know what's going on. So why don't you DM me? Lee, I don't understand what you're saying. How am I disrespecting your autism and your autism community? I'm not apologizing. I didn't I don't know of anything that I may have done. But I could apologize if I did something I'm unaware of. But okay, I'm gonna get back to this. I hope you'll stick around. This is just a live again a live stream of a game. Lee, being sarcastic to someone is not disrespecting them. So if that's... I, I don't know what to say about that. Yeah, Jason, I agree. No idea. Um, I mean, if it's happening here, I don't know what to tell you because... Well, sarcasm, there's nothing wrong with it. It's not disrespectful. Unless it's done in a disrespectful way, and I don't believe that I did. So, anyway, I've been around a long time, and I know the difference. So um, I hope you can move past it, Lee, because you're more than welcome to be here. Thank you, Pilot Bro and Jason. No, I did not. Oh, Trucker Games said that. Well, I don't know why he would say that. Um, really, I don't. So I guess if he has an issue with that, then it is his issue. I hope not. I like Trucker Games. Um, yeah, Shelby Wolf is right. Let's enjoy the content because that is why we're all here. And Lee, you're welcome to stay as much as you want. 
Now I'm gonna get on with this delivery. I got 14 more miles to cover. Yes, Adam, thank you. I guess I'm going a little slow because I'm trying not to miss my uh, turn. Welcome to... Oh, whoa! That was the wrong thing. Welcome to Lewistown. I can't do two things at once apparently. Nice little town. I love little towns like this. They feel so comfortable. Hey Matt, welcome to the stream from Fort Hood, Texas. Yes, always fun to go through these um, on a road trip. Pilot Bro, I, I, I did tweak my GPS voice a little bit. I turned off that annoying um, speed warning thing. But I think I, I went to a slight, it's still the same guy. It's just a different version of it. It got annoying. I'm sorry we gave you COVID. <laughs> yeah, Carlos. I can't hardly look at the chat and drive. Man, 
And uh, actually, today I'm reminded why it's a good idea to have a moderator in the chat so I don't see it. What? My moderator didn't show. Oh, I forgot to turn on my flashers. Oh well. Alright. Well, let me see if I... Oh, I did it! 12 out of 12. Well, now I'm confused because I... Thought the load where I brought this load from, I had already done one there. Well, anyway, that was the goal to complete the event, which I have. So I'm, oh, excuse me. Well, let me go back into the truck for a moment. I wanted to check something. There is a truck stop. Oh, I drove right by a, what you call it? a uh, viewpoint but I'm going to go over this truck stop over here and that's where I'm going to park but I'm not going to do that during the live stream so I'll let's see it's uh, three 
a little after three in the afternoon in the game. So, um, ah, yeah, it is tough to read and drive. <laughs> you found two, Josh, Jason, you found two secret roads in 10 minutes. How is that even possible? Ah, uh, yes, probably the best map for ATS. That's, yeah, the scenery is awesome. Ah, uh, da -da -da -da, like Texas, but I really want to see what they do with New York where it's really congested. That would be something. You know, I've noticed that the traffic, AI traffic, has not been that bad lately. Um, I think they've, in some of the updates that they've done, they've tweaked the traffic a little bit. Um, to research what states likes. Yeah, Chubby Wolf, they do, they do put a lot of effort into researching the states, if that's what you're talking about. I'm a little discombobulated in the stream or in the chat. G. Johnson, to answer your question, how to get your name on the side of, your, of the truck, you have to create a custom skin or know someone who can create a custom skin and someone did that for me and I was very glad that they did I've also got it my text a tagline on the back so it's a takeoff from my tagline life is an over-the-road adventure um, and my tagline is uh, my over-the-road trucking adventure that's my title of my uh, channel I guess whoops not what I was after that's what I was after um, Let's see. To get your stuff, you go to World of Trucks and you just needed to do... All right, 12 jobs. Okay. Um, yeah. Right. Pilot Bro is correct, Lee. Sarcasm is a form of humor. I was not disrespecting you. I was making a joke about the unicorn, if that's what you're referring to. That was not a dig at you. I was just making a joke about the unicorn. It wasn't personal. It wasn't even directed at you. I was making fun of the unicorn. Okay, anyway, that's enough of that. Um... <laughs> yeah, Matt, I, I do like that tagline, I mean. Okay, I'm going to end the stream here. Um, Lee, I do hope you'll come back. I enjoy having you in the stream. Um, you shouldn't be offended by anything that I said. It was just humor. It was just a joke. So people do that. Um Hey, Big Jacko's Gaming, welcome to the stream. <laughs> You're at the end. Maybe you've been here for a while and, and we're just lurking. I love Montana. I love Montana in real life, and I love this DLC, this map in ATS. So that's it. Good night, folks. If you like the stream, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's it.